so what's up guys and welcome back for another video so in today's video i'm gonna show you around the birds that i'm gonna be getting rid of and pigeons nesting like mad um, no joke and then the now I'm gonna show you the baby fan tail as well because that baby is doing so well. I'm actually so proud of it for actually staying alive. Um, now let me get you mummy off. There you go. There you go. There we go. Now you're gonna just look at this wee baby. Look at how big it's starting to get. Look at that big belly on it. Let me just put you here. Look at that. Just look at that big old belly on it. It's filled. <laughs> you are full. And the uh, wee eyes are starting to open up. He's a bit of a camera shy. <laughs> Now you go under daddy there. Now you sit on your baby properly now. Right? Oh wait there, I'm gonna have to help it out because this here cockbird doesn't really know. There we go. Let's just fix the wee feathers. There we go, the baby's under. Now mummy's going over there, so but you see mummy's gonna Sit all over there as well, see? They're gonna sit on it together. Now, I do have news. So, I I, may, I actually managed to track down two white hens, fantail hens. So, stay tuned because I'm gonna get the two fantail hens and they're gonna be locked up with him for a day and I'm gonna see if he can breed them um, because that, that would be actually pretty cool if I can get more fantails um, but I was think well like I mean I was thinking about if I can track down two hands I could maybe try my best and buy I could maybe try my best and buy a fa two fantail cocks whites and keep my fantails in here but I also had a feeling that what what about what about me turning this loft into a fantail and figure the loft um, you know like small pigeons like these here like maybe German owls too maybe and my fantails and my rollers are going outside in the kit box so I'm actually gonna show you guys the kit box because I've been actually building all to it. So yesterday I started building the kit box and just look at this. It's nearly finished. Um the door just opens up like that. I'm gonna put wire mesh in the in the in the inside of it. And then this is gonna be the nesting boxes, but I still have to do like wee slats in. Um, then I'm gonna do three perches for there. So one there, one there, and one over there. So they're each gonna have three perches on it. So I'm gonna have 12 perches and I have, no, sorry, I'm gonna have nine perches. And then I'm gonna have my nest boxes, which I'm gonna have how many so i'm gonna have three in one row so six so this is perfect for around 12 birds i would say or 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 maybe six pairs you know because that is 12 birds but if they're all paired up and they all find a nest box you're 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 basically gonna be having a lot of fun so all this will be for my Birmingham rulers and this here is going to be going all the way over to this spot here 
So the way that the other shades thing is there, it's gonna get put here and then when you come through here, the door's gonna be over there and that's just gonna be pretty good, you know? Um, but me being dumb, uh, I might have not measured the wrong right or the door right. No, right there. No, I did. I did measure it right. So it's going to fit in here perfectly. Um, the two shades are going to make a nice wind block for it because that there does have a mesh, a mesh door. Uh, so yeah, so this here cockbird. That there's figurita there is the father to... to the eggs that this hand sitting on so <laughs> um so yeah i'm just gonna quickly close this door so i don't lose any birds because that would be the worst thing um here she is she's a mealy hen and the other the cog bird is a gray one so So yeah, um, let me just see this here. There we go. Um, I just poured that old food out um, because there's still some left, but there's still a wee bit more in there. But yeah. Um, so this is how everything's really going. A few guys been watching the other videos. There's this here one wee egg from these two. Boy, stop it. This one might be, I have a good feeling that this one's going to hatch out. This one's going to hatch out in a couple of days. Maybe around two or three days. Now, off the hen, mister. Oh, there you go. Ah, this way here, hen, is such a wee nippy one. <laughs> um, so, I do have bad news. These two had eggs well the egg now this is a hen and a racer cockbird this year plain blue bar which is paired up to them two hens and they had eggs but like i mean i i actually wanted to keep it but it dropped out of my hand and then it fell down and you know it smashed but to be honest i don't want to make cross pigeons because these two I heard of that research put up to that hand, so that's that's why I'm making that nest today because I need to split the birds up. So, so yeah, um, this is gonna the, all the birds are gonna get split up and all. So, so yeah, that's gonna be it. And um, this here's the kit box, so I'll give you another look. This here's the kit box here. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, um, and then, uh, and then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.